Today I'll be showing you how to add music files to your Android phone to use as a ringtone. So let's get started. The first step, and my favorite step, is actually choosing the song that you want to use. Luckily, Android phones can support a variety of file types, including MP3s, M4As, and WAV files. So most of the music files you have on your computer should work just fine. Once you pick the song you want, you just have to make sure you know where it is on your computer, because we'll need it for later. Most of the music files live in the aptly named music folder, but it all depends on where you saved it at the time. If you really don't know where it is, you can always do a search for the file name. In my case, most of the music files do live in the music folder, so that's where I'll be looking today. I can usually find it under Quick Access. However, if you don't see it there, you can check this PC and the folder should be there as well. So when you double click on that, you'll see a list of all the songs that you have. I kind of cheated and put a lot of my songs in a secondary music folder because it was a little overwhelming, but you'll probably have a longer list than this. So here's a song I want to use today. It's called Limoncello. It's by my dad and I thought it'd be a cute song to use for this demo purpose. So now that we've located the song that we want and we have the folder up, we can just minimize it until we need it for later. The next step is actually getting it on our phones. And an easy way to do that is to actually just connect the phone directly to the computer using a USB cord. So I'm gonna do that now and then I'm gonna switch so you can see my phone screen when we do these next few steps. So here we are in my phone view. When you first plug in your phone, you'll likely have to tweak some settings that will actually allow the files to be loaded onto your phone. When you go into the notification settings, you'll see something that says Android system charging this device via USB. And when you click on it, it'll tell you to tap for more options. So once you click on that, you'll see a whole list of things that you can do while your phone's connected via USB cord. In our case, we just want to select file transfer, and you'll probably hear a little ding on your computer that's disconnecting and reconnecting the phone. And then you can select the back arrow, and then that's it for that part. So I'm gonna switch back to the computer so you can see what the next step is. So back on the computer side, I'm gonna open up a new folder so that we can take a look at the contents of our phone. So my phone's listed under this PC. In my case, it's a Pixel 2 XL. And when you click on it, you'll see that it shows you the storage. So I'm gonna double click on the storage and here are all of the folders that reside on my phone. In this case, the folder that we're looking for is ringtones. In some cases, it might also be called notifications. I have both for whatever reason, but you might have one or the other. If for some reason you don't have either ringtones or a notifications folder, the good news is you can create your own. So if you just right click, click on new folder, and then name it ringtones, I'm gonna name it ringtones two just for a second, then you've created your own ringtones folder. I'm going to delete mine because I don't need it, but that's how you can do it. So I'm going to click on ringtones, and as you can see, I already have one file in here, and I'm going to make this a little smaller so that we can pull up the music folder that we found earlier. Here they are side by side. And now all you have to do is click on the file and drag it into the ringtones folder. And there you go. We now have a song in our ringtones folder. So we can close out of this, and actually we can close out of this as well, and now you can unplug your phone from the computer. So I've switched the view back to our phone screen, and now we're at the final step and the fun part. It's time to select our actual ringtone. So if you go to settings, which is this little gear icon, and select it, all of the settings will pop up. If you scroll until you see sound, click on that, then you'll scroll again until you get to the ringtone area. Right now, it's saying my phone ringtone is called High Score. So if you click on ringtones, you'll either see two things. You'll either see a list of all of the sounds that you have on your phone, or in my case, you'll see folders. So if you have folders, most of the songs that you put on manually onto your phone will be in the My Sounds folder. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, and hopefully it worked for you as well, the song that I wanted, Limoncello, is in this list of songs. So once you click on that, and hit save, there you go. 
So now it's saying that my phone ringtone is limoncello, which is exactly what I wanted. So that's it. Now you have your own custom ringtone. Enjoy.